In the days of wonder, our island of Yanqing was a happy and peaceful place. The four clans lived in harmony. The industrious rabbits, cheerful frogs, disciplined cats, and wise pandas. Each had their own villages, each nourished by the waters of life flowing from their town fountains, enriched and transformed by the songstone within each fountain. It is said that the magical waters of these fountains nourish not only the body, but the spirit as well, and all believed in the way, a belief in the essential goodness of life. Pandas and cats, rabbits and frogs all walked in the way. But as the years passed, they faltered. They strayed from the way, fell into complacency and lost their vigilance. At the same time, the springs feeding the fountains dwindled and turned to dust. Evil grew, and the gorillas invaded our land. joined by the rat alchemists and the grating monotony of their din. Their path of darkness spreads everywhere. Only if we regain the way can we hope to find our path back to greatness. My parents say there are few among the free peoples who still follow the way. Please, Kay, come with me. We must rally the people, guide them back to the way. <laughs> That's a load of scat. The gorillas took over because they're, because they're strong and good fighters. All that ancient history, Master says the way is just an old myth. Master says that- Master is an old myth himself, and he drinks too much nettle mead. No way! Forty years ago, he was the finest weapons master in all of Yancheng. Was. I've had enough. I'm going home to my village, if there's anything left of it. Maybe I can find someone there with enough backbone to stand up to Minister Shun and his goons. No one here but has-beens and wannabes. Ready for my next lesson! Good. Never interrupt a man's meditation. Oh, oh. Who put these pots in my way? Let's get you to bed, Master. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tomorrow the sun will rise. The sun will rise on a warrior. Oh, yeah. yeah, tomorrow. Uncle, why all the uproar? The master's hitting the bottle and barely able to stand. Su Ling is prattling on about the way, and meanwhile we've been practically invaded by rats and gorillas. The way? <laughs> Just a bunch of claptrap. If you ask me, the problem is in our very society. You know, in my day... But no, <laughs> the best lessons come from life itself. Nah, I'm starting to sound like your master. Get out there and look around on your own. But what if... <sighs> yes, Uncle. See you later. Kay, before you leave, always remember, if you've got a question, just stop by. I'll help you wherever I can. Whenever you've got a question, just come and see me. Hello, Uncle Shen. Hello, Kay. Ubai, our mayor, wants you to come along. I heard he has a small errand for you. Kay, come here at once. Hey, Ubai. What's so earth-shaking? I have a dispatch of highest importance. Come on, what's the big deal? Kay, get a grip. 
You have to bring this dispatch to the rat camp for me. I have marked the rat camp on your map with a green X. Yes, yes, I will do this for the Grand Imperial Ubai. Okay, nice to meet you. To reach those edges, you must do the somersault jump. But with your current training, that's too dangerous for you. First, you must visit the master and learn your first lesson. Hey, Zippy! Read the posters, punk. They contain useful information. I tan, what are you looking for? Okay, I lost three of my pumpkins. If I can't find them soon, I'll need some help getting them back. Better not go inside. I have more important things to do first. Better not go inside. I have more important things to do first. Nobody get in! Chill, dumpster breath. You think I actually want to enter your stinks kill zone? Hey, pussy boy! Watch your mouth! <laughs> Whatever. Here, I got a message for you. Give me now! Ah, your male wise cat. He agrees on everything. Bring this to him as answer. Do I look like your personal mailman, Ratty? Yes, he furry like you. I don't believe this. Sarcasm is wasted on these dipwads. You take mail, yes? Just give me the stupid thing. <laughs> hey, go away and let me pass. I'm under direct orders from Shun himself to let no one pass this gate. So get lost. <laughs> message from those garbage swilling rats. Well done, my son. You'll make something of yourself yet. Let me see. Hmm. hmm. Ah, Tat the chief of rats is quite wise. He thinks I'm a very competent manager. Great. Right. So you two can start a mutual admiration society. By the way, your master sends for you. You should go to the school for training. Awesome! Finally some action! Hello, Kay. See those ropes? Jump up onto them and begin to swing. Find the right moment to jump off the rope. You can also jump from one rope to the next but that can be a bit more complicated. Hello, Quan Man. Kay, here and up at the fighting school are the only nice places left around here. Not so many rats and gorillas. Let's see how long it stays like that. Our mayor says they want to protect us, but 
From what? And now they want us to hand over our weapons. Do you believe these clowns? Not a good sign. Someone has to do something. Master? Ah, there you are. Come on, let's continue with our training. But first, I want you to consider one of the lessons of our ancestors. Ah, not another story, Master. Can't we just get straight to fighting? You promised me a new weapon today. Did I? Hmm. Ah, yes. Look over there. It is ready for you. Master, a wooden sword? I'll be the joke of the village. What about the sword in your house? The sword from our ancestors? Get serious. That's a legendary weapon, reserved for the cat champion of the prophecies. Attack me with the triple strike. But bear in mind that the power strikes take longer and thus you lose a bit of your agility. Come on, attack me. Very good. You learn quickly. You can handle the simple strokes now. Let's try something else. Crouch. And then make an uppercut. Come on, attack me. Excellent. Now we can continue. Jump and attack to hit opponents on the floor. The attack targets your opponent, even if they are lying prone on the ground. Go on, try it. at all, my little novice. Here's your reward. This is a heart container. With its help, you get stronger and you can carry more life energy. It's a very precious item. If you find such an item, don't reject it. Yeah, but with your center, your chi, like Hai Kong Hua. <laughs> Very impressive, Master Fossil. Why do you waste your time play fighting when there's gorilla masters to be served? Battle scars. Well, I bet you won. Huh. Gorillas always win. It's all clear. Just some mangy cats. 123 essential means. 87 quan twos. And 46 and a half cubic twats. So, that's how it worked. The Cho Wang number series utilized differentially. <laughs> <laughs> Differentially? Differentially. And made of pure native sandstone, of course. You! Apes there! Get to the quarry and cut me a block of sandstone ten times the size of this fountain! And hurry! This plan's a fool's errand, Alchemist. Well, now gorillas are experts in transmogrification. What next? Bananas with cheese sauce? Ugh, cheese. You rats disgust me. 
When Wallow erupts, the fires within will swallow. Wallow up the past and reveal the future. A future replete with uh, whiskers. <laughs> you mangy little. I feel the vengeance of Yan Ching, invader. <laughs> you furball licking. Stop! Bullwax will do the job nicely. <laughs> we don't need buoys turning bums into heroes. <laughs> we have what we came for. Ape. Whoa! You've never shown me those attacks, Master. Uh, then, perhaps it's time, my boy. Perhaps it's time. Uh. Uh, I'm exhausted, kid. Leave me alone for a while, so I can gather new powers through... meditation. You'd best return to the village and attend to your duties. I'll send a message to your uncle when I need you again. And remember the face of that tack, the rat alchemist. He's trouble waiting to happen. One man, I've learned some new moves, but the master isn't really himself anymore. In times past, your master was a great fighter. No gorilla or rat would have dared to approach him. Hey, have you seen this poor woman, Itan? She went all the way to get those pumpkins, and now she has lost three of them. Maybe you can help her. Do something helpful. I'm just so busy lately. But sure, I'll be there. Hey, Dai, why are you hiding in here? Go play outside in the sunshine. Ever since Sean came, I'm afraid to play outside. No way! Just ignore them.
<sighs> the door's locked. I need a key to open this door. Hi, Meng. Why are you in here and not out in the woods? It used to be much nicer in the village. The stupid rats won't let us play in the woods anymore. Then you have to show them who's the boss. Very funny, Kay. That's a good one. First, you must learn how to ride a bower and finish the race. When you've done that, I will show you how to jump up these walls. Kylie. What's with these annoying rats and gorillas? How the rats and gorillas wail and rant at us. In the times of the way, we had peace and happiness. Now all we have is the stridency and clatter of din. Do you see the edges of these rocks? You can reach them. You can reach those edges by doing the somersault jump. First you have to duck and then you have to jump. You will see that you can jump much higher by using this move. If you make it to the top within five seconds, you win a prize. Hello, Aitian. Is everything okay? No! Could you please help me? I must have lost three pumpkins in front of the town gate. If you help me, I'll reward you. Of course I'll help you. In front of the town gate, you say? Maybe those thieving rats stole them. Let me check it out.
arm this time? Wooden sword? To laugh it is! Out! <clears throat> Knuckle dragger. Lucky what I got. Hey, you got me bananas. Yummy ripe bananas. Okay, if you sneak through the gate now, I might just look away for a moment. Protect you. <laughs> Nongbao, what's going on here? They want to take our hens, but we need them. I believed Shun wanted to protect us, like the posters say. But I don't need no protection from my chickens. Maybe the lying bastards ever consider that? Away! Hey, Kay. Wanna ride a wild boar? It's a heap of fun. I can show ya. Sounds great. Let's go. You should try it. It's more fun than a bowl of catnip. If you stand behind the boa, you can just hop on. Don't worry, Baji here is real gentle-like. You can also slide while turning into the respective direction. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. You can also jump off of the boa. Ah, and one more. You can only ride the boar for a certain amount of time. When the time's up, the boar will unseat you. Oh, something else. You can extend your riding time by collecting acorns. And last but not least, when you pick up a chili pepper, the boar speeds up. So be careful. Okay, okay. Let's get going. Congrats, Kay. You made it. Take this as a reward.
Hey, do you see these walls? They are called reflection walls. First, you have to jump onto one of these walls. Then you have to jump again at the right moment to jump from one wall to another. Give it a try. Is everything all right? Those gorillas are scary. I'd rather stay here where nobody can find me. Why doesn't somebody stand up to these goons? Hello, Gome. You know, Furball, when I was young, these statues were installed everywhere. But I'll be danged if I can remember what in blazes they're for. Close gate! Could destroy whole village! Kate, get back into the village quickly! We're being attacked! Borax? What makes him so angry? And what's that? He's carrying a magical amulet around his neck.
No prob, I tan. I'm still breathing. And I've found your three pumpkins. That's wonderful! Thanks so much! Kay, as a reward for your wonderful help, please accept this key. Ah, and before I forget, your master is sent for you. <laughs> Is it true? You really fought Borax? Yes, Master. Suddenly he was just there and attacked me. I fought like a tiger, but with the wooden sword, I couldn't defeat a butterfly. Strong, yes, of course. And your training. You still have much to learn. Okay, let's build your fighting strength with some new combat techniques. First, I'll show you how to defend yourself. Block strikes, but you have to turn into the direction of the attacker. Pay attention as I attack. Now, a few subtleties. You can do a very powerful attack from a somersault. This is a particularly powerful attack to use on an opponent who is lying on the floor. Great! You're getting better and better. Take this as a reward. This is a magic point container. With this, your magical power increases. You might not know much about your magical powers, but be patient. I will induct you into the art of magic. Okay, I think you are now ready to learn a special tactic. The combo attack.
You see that? That's a demon Zhang. Those are the urns cast from the damned souls that are forever trapped inside. If you destroy a demon Zhang, you gain the power of the demons for a while, and you can move very quickly. There are demon Zhangs made out of wood, stone, and metal. You have to hit the wooden ones only once to set the demon's power free. The stone and metal ones have to be hit more often. Destroy the Zhang. For every Zhang you destroy, you gain a combo level. The higher your combo level, the longer you stay in combo mode, and the stronger your attacks. When you are in combo mode, you can make a combo move to the next Zhang and destroy it. To open this chest, you need a three-hit combo. You should try to execute the combo moves and the next attack very quickly, one after another. That way, you can blend them into one smooth motion. Try it. This is a precious item, an extra life. Take care that you always have a good number of extra lives. This will be very useful to you. Kay, please get me the bottle of nettle mead from up there. As you can see, you can't reach them the normal way. Use the power of the Zhang. But don't be disappointed if you don't get it at once. Be patient with yourself. Focus your chi, and your striving will be crowned with success. Destroy the Zhang and move between them. Be quick about it. When the feel for the right moment isn't in you, you will fall to the ground. But don't worry, the Zhang will reappear. I hope you understand that you can move from one Zhang to the next through the air. Thanks a lot. Of course, this was only a test. We are not at the end of your lesson yet. Now we will work on the use of your magical abilities. These can be especially helpful when you have to stand your ground against stronger opponents. You see the small bottle over there? Should your magical powers run out, its contents will serve you well. Gather magical energy. The energy discharges and detracts life energy from all opponents around you. But bear in mind, when you don't have magical energy, you can't do a magic attack. For every magic attack, you need at least five magic points. Just try it with these statues once. I wish all of my pupils were as talented as you. Kay, this is your reward. This is a berserk potion. It increases your strength for a limited amount of time. Kay, your training is nearly finished, but there is one last test. You have to go to the cliff. Using the Zhang there, 
you have to win a fight against me. This time, I will be imitating the rat's tactics. Go ahead, I'll follow. Come on, Kay. Attack me. Okay, Master. Here I come. Ah, somebody's full of strength and determination there. Attack. I hereby order this terrorist training camp what? to be closed, shuttered, and forever made safe for democracy. Training for hostile attacks on gorillas and rats has been observed here, and this will not be tolerated. At this time, I'd like to introduce a man who needs no introduction. Am I on? Can you hear me now? I'd like to thank you, Ren, for his warm introduction. Now, it's easy to see how the island of Yanqing has already been transformed by the advanced and benign technology of the rats and gorillas. Naysayers see only destruction and colonialism. I see schools opening up all over Yanqing. Good din schools, not that weirdo Mr. Wacko stuff of the way. But seriously, folks... Down with it! Down with tech! It's our school! We want it back! A terrorist! Get him, boys! It's okay. It's okay. We'll shut this school down. It doesn't matter anymore. You just give in like that? Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Take it easy, kid. I got a date with a bottle of nettle meat. Master is an old myth himself, and he drinks too much nettle meat. Su Ling was right. I should have wised up a long time ago. Tomorrow, the sun will rise on a warrior. Why can't we play outside the village anymore? I told you, it's too dangerous. That's why we built the wall. No, the gorillas built the wall to trap us in here forever and ever and ever. Shh. Go to sleep now.
Who are you hiding from? A horde of rats just stormed through again. Damned rats. Where are they headed, do you think? I think they're on their way to the hair tree. Their leader is supposed to be there. Tack is his name. But be wary. It's crawling with these monsters and very perilous. Yeah, Tack's the cheese ball I'm looking for. I'm off to the hair tree. Welcome to my shop. Have, have we already met? My humble enterprise always offers good prices, so have a look around. I have a lot of useful things, like the tip of the day, for example. Always helpful and sometimes profitable. Buy yourself a new heart container. Buy yourself a new heart container. You can get this berserk potion, which may you need help. I'll sell you the tip of the day. It will help. This isn't the way. What the? Where'd you come from? Heck if I know. It was pretty dark in there and creepy. How'd you get in there in the first place? I remember buying a demon potion from the shopkeeper, and then I drank it here and saw a magic portal. I was curious, of course, and just kind of went through. Why don't you try it, too? Have you already bought a demon potion and gone through the portal? Welcome to my shop. Have, have we see the demon gates? For my own good. Right. Look, Ratty. Tack's made a huge mistake. I gotta talk to him. Tack makes no mistake. No speak with you. Go home, Wimpy Furball. Tack better place for you. Too dangerous here. Yeah, right. Try and stop me, rodent boy.
Welcome to my shop. See the demon gates. Oh, you can purchase this demon potion. I really hope that Duo has some spare carrots to eat. Otherwise, he may starve. Oh, my. Huh? Who are you? I'm Kay. But what are you doing here? Hmm. He doesn't look like a rat. Nor like any of those tack fools at all. That's because I'm a cat, you dodos. So what's this huge catapult for? We're launching cats at rats! <laughs> but seriously, we wanted to attack the rat camp in the forest. But, uh... So far, so good. And? Something went wrong. In fact, it was just when Duwu was checking the catapult and triggered it accidentally, hurling him far away. We hope that he is not injured or worse. But now he is lost somewhere in the poor forest, and he has the key! What key? Oh, sorry. The key to the rat camp. But we cannot get to Duwu because the area he landed in is too dangerous, and there are a lot of deep pits we cannot cross. Uh, mayhaps you will help us? Anything that'll help Nail Tack and his pals. What can I do? You must find a way through the poor forest and find Duwu. It will be difficult. Maybe you could get a grip on one of the many boars living in this forest. With a boar ride, you can get there faster and safer. with some big jump! Phew, what a ride! Are you Duwu? Huwu and Luwu sent me to find you. 
Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but now we're both stuck here. There's no way out. If I'd only taken a few bombs with me, I'd have been surely able to blow this wall. Great! You did it! Follow me! Are we glad to see you, Doo? Here, take this key as a reward. I think it's the key to the rock camp. Try it. It's yours. I think you're a better choice to fight those rap bastards than me anyway. Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll see I have some useful things and at bargain prices. Poor, you need help? I'll sell you the tip of the day. It will help you to advance. Well, if it ain't the Rat Patrol, bring it, butt brains. Oh! <laughs> 
Glory me! I'm being rescued at last! I've been on a mission. Yes, to find the dragon, Tor Chi. Our paladin, you know. Then there was this rat camp. Oh, oh my, I failed! I must hurry back and tell Tu Lao what happened. <laughs> It's sheltered by a giant tree. Let's hope the rats don't invade and occupy it. May that my family is well still. I must hurry. <laughs> What's up? Do you see that button over there guarded by rats? Sure. Press it! Okay, but first I gotta knock off those rats.
Hey, wait. Master! Who needs a school when we have a whole forest to ourselves? You have a new sword. Excellent. Uh... No problem, Kay. You have to go your own way. My job is to teach you the basics. The rest is up to you. But we left a few things out. You'll show me some more moves? Cool! Listen, you can not only exercise the combo attack on Zhongs, but also on enemies. This will give you a lot of advantages in a fight. The greater your combo, the more your chi, and therefore your power grows. Chi? Combo? Okay, focus. It is not as difficult as it sounds. First, destroy the Zhang to get a combo. Then hit an enemy. You have limited time to destroy them all. Ah, and those arrows show you enemies which are outside your field of view. Now I get it. move on to the next lesson, the roll attack. If you roll towards an enemy and then attack right in front of him, you will hit him hard. Try it. Wow, you got it. Now to the next challenge. Enemies can block your attacks, but you are not powerless against that. Listen, if you stand in front of an enemy, you can roll behind him. This is your moment of surprise. Hit him hard. Marvelous. I don't think I was that good in my best days. Come on, Master. Don't make fun of me. Now, Kay, something else. If you are behind your opponent, you can throw. Try it. <laughs> Choice, Kay. This move can also be nicely combined with rolling behind the enemy. But I leave that exercise up to you. Now you've learned all you need to do it your way. Good luck, my friend.
shouldn't be going backwards. would scoff at the wrath of a rat. I must be a cat. Him get now, everybody! Pick on somebody your own size, why don't you? to give us yes sounds good to me see you right soon Kay to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll see I have some useful things and buy yourself a new hot container. Buy yourself a new magic container. You need help? I'll sell you the tip of the day. It will help you to advance. You need help? The dragon statue is missing one eye.
Good afternoon. What's the big deal here? Yes, we're expecting the rat's attack at any moment. Mayor Tulao is trembling with concern up in his house. Maybe you know. Me? Know anything? Guess why they call idiots hair-brained. Hello, sir. Hello, my young fellow. You must be Kay, yes? Your reputation precedes you. Uh, uh, Bebe recounts endlessly how you defeated the rats and rescued him. I think maybe he exaggerated a bit. I hear you're after our friend, Tack. You got that right. It's personal. He closed my fighting school, trashed our village. Somebody's got to stand up to that scum-sucking cheese breath. Just so. Undoubtedly, the same things will do to us. Our only hope is some protection from the dragon, Torchi. Look, there's the entrance to the dragon's cave. But we cannot reach it anymore because the bridge is damaged. To get there, we have to solve the secret of the three dragon statues. But the rats inhibit us. We need the three rubies, the dragon's eyes. Legend says that the dragon will help those who solve the secret of the dragon statues. We had found all three rubies, but always when we tried to activate one statue, our brave scout hairs got caught and the ruby was taken by the rats. You saved Baby, and he carried our last ruby. Just imagine what will happen when the rats enter the dragon's cave first. Their power would grow even larger. Their evil plans would come to fruition. I'll handle this. You can count on me. You have to. Because they want to enchant Torchi with their evil magic. Like what they have done with Borax. Torchi would be controlled by their will. He'd be turned against us and every other peace-loving peoples. No problem, Tulao. I'll convince Torchi that he should protect you guys from now on. You would do this for us? Yes, I believe you will. Here is our last ruby. Hi, baby. I found some cat statues. What else can you tell me? When I sneaked out of the rat camp, I saw a crumbly part in the rocks, hidden behind bamboo. Okay, I am now going to open the tree portals for you, so you have access to all areas of the forest. Good luck. Feline freak! Wax to you, cat! Get him, boys! You must be Tack. Listen. Don't bother me, Catnip West! We're after that pesky dragon! I need six men! Or seven! No, no, six will do! Yeah. 
I'm coming for you, you dirty rat. That's right, I'm just a harmless kitten. Garbage mouth. Wanna roll around and play with me? Meow. Whoever you be, Goldilocks, you ought to know what come next. <laughs> Three bears plus one.
Hmm. I don't have a dragon's eye ruby left. Now what did Tulao tell me? Oh yeah, go to the rat's camp.
You're here. I had the chance to overhear a conversation with Tack. He has found a way into the dragon cave and has already set off. Nice uniform. I hope for your sake it's tear resistant. Mangy cat. But don't worry, gorillas know how to squash little kitty. <clears throat>
my aching bones. Those barbarous rats tortured me until I told them all I knew about Torchy, our paladin dragon. Oh, I need to make my way home now for some first aid. <laughs> I should get that armor now. And 
Congratulations, young warrior. <laughs> Bombs! Never leave home without one. When the fuse catches, you should get away quickly. Otherwise, you can get this berserk potion, which... Young warrior! Too low! I, I, I want to thank you for all of our shares. You surely saved us. The woods are safe now. We do not have to hide any longer. We hope that you will be successful, and hopefully the dragon can advise you on how to find Tack. No problem, boys. I'd better set off to chase Tack now before his trail is cold. Take care. What's this then? Another bloody rat? I'll show you what for, you mangy little. Wait! I'm no rat. I'm a cat. Right, and I'm a snake with a gland condition. Eat smoke, ratty.
No, stop! I'm fighting the rats too. Whiskers and tails, rats ye hail. <laughs>
Yo, knock it off! Clear out, you scurrying little rodent, before I turn on the old flamethrower here! Not a rat. What? Boy, sorry. Thought you was a rat. Well, now the light's better, I can see you know rat. You're the bloke who took out Borax. Some good fighting, that. That's just good training. I'm after Tack. Have you seen him? Seen him? I near smoked him. He come in here after me, that cheese breath vermin. Ha! You said it. See? They got these special transforming amulets. Turns a mild beast of burden into a beastly burden. Great fearsome monsters they are. That's not to trifle with the likes of them, lad. Okay, but Tack won't get away with this. Not as long as this cat warrior still draws breath. Be careful, mate. Lots of animals have taken up with Tack, and that Tack is using alchemy. I'll be careful. And please, can you take care of the hares? You can rely on it, my furry friend. Thanks. See ya.
real scared. <laughs> hey, boys, you know, he who laughs last laughs best. He who ha? Oh, hey. Yep, these rodents are real geniuses, all right. Draw your weapons, Spud Brains. for this gate. I tried to get it, but I was unable to ride the boar. Maybe you can get it. Got these special transforming amulets. Turns a mild beast of burden into a beastly burden. Great fearsome monsters they are. So I think I have to hit them right on the end.
suppose this is all about? Maybe the old wives' tales about those fountains aren't so crazy after all. Uh, they were made out of this very strong stone, huh? But puny compared to what Tax got planned. I hear... Hold your tongue. He's coming. <gasps> Just go away! Bring the others. You! Why aren't we making better progress? Can you not see the fires of Wawo grow angry at this impertinence? Perhaps a little din persuasion could speed things up. Uh, your eminence. <laughs> Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape! What's wool? <laughs> Minister Shun has just the pesticide for these vermin, you'll see. Come on, these slaves do need some motivating. Stranger cat, must say, hardly expected a kid like you showing up here. What can I say? I may not eat bugs, but I can sure lick rats and gorillas. Okay, boss, you gotta be K, yeah? 
You be expected, brother. You know, attack is in the swamp, right? Attack? Yeah, man. We eavesdrop him and his gang. We hear something about some bad cat making him and his plans tons of trouble. Let me invite you to our village at the far end of the swamp. But watch yourself, my friend. Don't worry. I'll be there. Sensational, man. I will now leave for our village center. It's still reasonably safe there, and it would be best if you talk to our mayor, Goo. He has sent out scouts and knows more. Good. I'll be sure to hook up with them. We will support you wherever possible, brother. May the chi be with you. Somebody want to mess with us. Get him! Yeah! Ah! 
I hear so many screams and couldn't do nothing. Just sit in cage and listen. I got to go to Frog City immediately.
Attention, an enemy. Secure the houses. Save your boss. Did you punish them turtles? Yeah? Let me see.
Attention! Enemy! Go, Toads! Kill! Go! 
done well. Look like this part of the swamp be back in our hands. I will report it to everyone immediately. Got past the first obstacle, but now I have to find that frog city fast. Boss! Crocodile and turtle confederate with gorilla beasties bring trouble on! But us frogs don't give up easy! Oh no! We entrench in our villages and make ready to repel foreign invader. Huh? What the heck are you talking about? We be attacked, boss. Attacked? Attacked. And what's even more a disaster, they close our last escape route to the Forsaken City. Now we are caged and they will crush us, man. Relax, nothing's gonna stop us. What can we do? If you want to open the froghead door leading to the Forsaken City, you need two keys of cracks and turtle store from us. But I don't know where to hide them, my friend. I'll find them. You better hurry, boss. Hey, wait! Shh! Not so loud. They are every place, bro. What's up? Did you already visit the swamps of death? No? Hmm. I hear there are some very useful things to find there. Oh, thanks. Even more? One froghead amulet be in the crocodile temple. To get in there, you must get the crocodile tear first. Okay. It's best you talk to Major Goo. He knows more. Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man. Buy yourself a new magic container. Mayor Goo? Yes. You must be Kay. Frog City is the only safe place just this moment. But we expect the attack on this very night. Troops spotted all around the city. What kind of defensive action have you taken? Defensive action? We just frogs, pal. Scared frogs. Be walking the park for Shun's army. Kay, we spend all our hope on you, man. If you want to enter Frog City now, just step in and take a rest. You're welcome. My kind of odds. Slim to none.
<laughs> oh, thank Amphibio. It be a good day. All these hornets, man. No place for me. I got to leave to Frog City. Hello there, my boy. Ain't no ferry in these days. You too are. I'm out of business at the moment. But I need to... I'm not fearing. No business. No discussion. It's too dangerous on the lake. Why too dangerous on the lake? You just keep bothering me. I can't get rid of you. First, the gorillas came along. They plundered my store. Placed hundreds of explosive barrels in the water. And they steal three of my boats. Only one is left. 
And I don't want to lose this one too. All right already? It looks like you're not the great fairy man I heard tell of. What? I'm the best fairy man in the whole swamp. I think I'm the better boatsman, old man. I'll wager on it. You wager on your boatman skills? You are very bold. Okay, I rent you my boat. If you are faster than myself, I will offer you my crocodile amulet. Deal. Okay, you win. Now I will hold to my word. Behold, a crocodile omelet. Boss K, the attack, he begun. They come with hundreds of men. The troops be plundering Frog City. Most of the house is put to flames. Now our offspring be in great danger. Everyone's crazy. Huts are burning and our frog eggs. We have managed to secure some of them from the attackers, but now they threaten to burn them. In these jars you find our frog eggs. They're safe in there for a while, but if you don't find them soon, they won't survive long. Then our whole offspring, I don't want to think about it. Please save them. I'll help you. Keep your hat on, my friend.
Stand back, everybody! I'm from the fire brigade. I'll take care of this fire. Huh? What the heck is he talking about? Uh, I don't know, Chief. <laughs> you dumb apes. Do you at least get what a fine Yen Ching forged blade means? Comrades, this little piece of scrap wants to challenge us. Let's not disappoint him.
know the smell of fire in the morning. There, an enemy. Beat the catnip out of him.
sweet conclusion, boss. Thanks a bunch, man. Now it's time for you to rest for the night. You will see us tomorrow at the gate. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you're a brave hero. Helped us a lot. Here, take this crocodile tear as a reward. Move on to the crocodile temple and find the way to the Forsaken City. Maybe you'll meet there this girl. What girl? This cat girl. We heard she formed up a resistance in the Forsaken City. Was her name Su Ling? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, could be. Can't remember exactly. I'll check it out. And you should learn something about defense tactics. Bye. Still here? Finally back after a night of fighting. <laughs> Mayhaps you are a little weakened. Nobody desecrate holy temple! Die, intruder! Slippery creatures. Yeah. <laughs> 
Me, boss. Those nasty crocs scared me off to death. Gotta lower the water to get this frog head amulet inside the pool. on opening the closed doors yet? Something to do with big old machine, me thinking.
Uh, the door's locked. I need a key to open this door. They caught me few days now. I get good look this room. I think maybe you check it out, no? from Frog City, boss. Me friends still alive, I be hoping. Now, I heard about a room. 
and you can only open it with a key found here in the swamp. Chum, come on down so we can beat the cat food out of you for what you are doing to our comrades. 
You freaking handbags talking to me? Here comes Crocodile K. Okay. Is this?
comrades, get the little bastard. Let's rumble, punks. Look at this catnip guy. <laughs> he don't know what he's in for. Ratso, secure the fort.
I was gonna starve in this dump. Now I've seen a shiny armor somewhere around here, but I can't recall where. I'm off. Good luck. Hey guys, you got a key for the door up there by any chance? Hey buddy, who are you? I'm uh, the locksmith. Gotta repair your door. I need the key to that door up there, pal. You think you're funny or something? Or something. We're gonna turn you into ketchup, kitty. in it, tank boy.
Troublemaker, let's jettison this verbal. Door's locked. I need a key to open this door.
Let me out of here. Need some fresh air. Them turtles stink, don't they? Gross. Boss, you can see I didn't get so far. The turtles caught me on the way to Frog City, but now I'll set off smartly. Thanks, brother. Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll...
Behold, Grand Minister Shun, Supreme Ruler of the Gorilla Clan, Commander of the Troops, Most Revered... Can it, Kong? I've sent Tack and his cheese breaths off to fetch supplies. Of course, sir. So, upon opening that valve, the lava will flow through that pipe and into the fountain? That's what Alchemist Tack said. That filthy rat's up to something. Have them build me a secret cutoff valve. Disguise the handle to look like a gremlin or something. No rats can know of this, you understand? As you wish. I'll use only gorilla workers, Commander. Good, good. No stinking rat is gonna make a monkey out of me! Go! Go! Get at it! Soon, I will honor my ancestors with a great victory. This fountain thing better work. Oh my, there's that cute little thing my Uncle Tall Chi keeps talking about. What? Cute? Hey, I've swatted down more rats than mosquitoes in the last few days, so shut your trap, flyboy. Uh, oh well, I'm sorry. Now you're talking. Well, my uncle said you need to lift through the mine canyon to the Forsaken City, and here I am. But it's not that easy. We have to pass every ring on the way. If you miss one, we have to start again. Listen, I can fly to the left and to the right. And I can fly down and up. As easy as that. And most important, you can make me breathe fire. That's very helpful, because the gorillas placed a lot of aerial mines. I also can fly faster if you want. When we are over the Forsaken City... I begin with the nosedive and kick you off at the right moment, so you can land safe in the Forsaken City. Everything clear? Fine. So let's start and begin the journey. You made it. Now it's time for the nosedive. Fasten your seatbelt. We're heading down.
look like revolutionizer to me. No way! I'm the new city councilman! New orders from the boss! Drop your weapons and hand over half your food! Something funny go on here! Hey, Shatterbrain! This be cat! Snap out of it! Lassie got weapons! You'll be arrested! Get him! Another oppressor? Stay away, colonialist invader! Colonia what? Hey, wait! Oh. <laughs> 
to arrest me! Shut up! March off the prisoner! Hey you! No hanging around in front of the prison! Look! He's got a weapon! Get him! Someone comes to free me. No guards here. No one except the old man in the shop. But do you think he reacted to my shouts? Bah! Thanks. Now I have to sneak back to my sentry post. to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll see I have some... Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll see I have some useful things. And at bargain, I'll sell you these new razor-keen claws, which have sharper blades and boost your... Yeah. <laughs> 
fierce warrior! And you saved me after all! Sure, I'm on the right side. Sorry, you just can't trust anyone these days. But I see you are on the side of justice. And we really could use someone like you. I'll show you our secret hideout. Follow me! This is the entrance to our hideout. You have to say the secret password. Pandemonium. Pandemonium? What a catastrophe. It was Pan's idea. Always the comedian. Now you can cross the fence and enter the hideout. I'll hide out here in the barrel and keep an eye out for those dastardly rats. Hi, you must be Pan. Yes, I'm Pan, the logistics coordinator of the Panda Resistance, also known as the Avalanche. Welcome to our hideout. As a new member, you'd better talk to our leader first. Yes, sir. UK? Yes, what a wonderful surprise. Su Ling! Wow! You became a young lady. How are you? Well, very well. You know, I had to come back here after all this injustice befell Yan Cheng. I founded the Avalanche Resistance Movement here among the pandas. We're fighting all these colonialist invaders who seek to destroy the way and all it stands for with this bony puppet government and... Whoa, hold on! How are you going to fight all these rats and gorillas with just a few pandas? The invaders took one of the great songstone fountains back with them to Walo. They have some fiendish plan to use it against us, to build a weapon of mass devastation. But we've built a great ship to ferry our own counter-invasion force to Walo. Will you join us? You've got a ship? It took months to build it, and a lot of effort to keep it hidden from the eyes of our enemies. Now it is almost finished, but these nasty rats cut off all the water to our dry dock channel. Unfortunately, we are unable to set sail until we find a way to bring back the water. It's said that in ancient times the shipbuilders used some sort of lock system activated by three independent cat statues. We need to find those statues and activate them. So, if you are willing to help us, seek them out. I know you can do it. Sure, I'll help you. We've been friends for a long time now. Plus, I kind of figured out on my own that Tak and Shun are the real enemies of Yanjing. We're a fighting team again, just like back at the fighting school. All right. Have you seen the Master since? No, but I sense him. Almost like he's around someplace. It's funny, you know? Yeah. He's with us. I can feel it, too. Okay, I knew we could count on you. Now go to Pan. He'll give you a watchword so you can open a gate. Then you'll have access to another part of the city. Come back when you've activated one of the cat statues. You always did have a plan. Thanks. I'm off. Come back if you find out something or if you need any more information. Okay. Uh, Su Ling? Yes, Kay? Smoke and threads! So, Kay, welcome to the Avalanche. Thanks. Can you give me the password for the other sections of the city? This will open many doors. Just say... Tak and Shun, you so dumb, soon you creeps will kiss my bum. That's the password? Okay, okay, how about a panda named Venus Nantucket? Wait a minute! Yeah, you're right. A little more elegance. Spy stuff. How about the panda flies at midnight? Pandas can't fly! 
you ought to see my uncle Pooh Bear after a jug of nettle mead. Wanna know why we call him Pooh Bear? Ugh, not really. Come on, Pan, I'll never remember any of this stuff. Ah, the heck with it. I'll just give you a key so you can open the doors yourself. If you have any question, ask our hidden watchman in the barrel in front of our hideout. He always knows some good hints. Ask him. It's worth the effort. Thanks. That'll work. If you are looking for a sealed door, then head back to the forecourt. I'm sure you passed the door while you were chasing me. Nearby is a secret passage to one of the cat statues, but it is behind the sealed door. The rats closed it up. If you have a key, you might be able to open it. The water is already coming back into the dry dock channel. Now you have to find the next cat statue. As far as we know, it's hidden in a cellar. Go to Pan. He'll give you a big hammer. With it, you can smash brittle floors. When you've activated the cat statue, come back to me. Yeah, I'll do it. How much more water do you think we need? I don't know. When you've activated the cat statue, you'd better come back to me. Oh, I'll come back to you, all right. You can count on that. K the Charmer. Who, me? Nah. Now leave. We've no time to lose. You know, I could never figure out what this hammer was for. Maybe you can use it for something. This door only opens from the other side.
against these foul rats and gorillas. They won't even let me go to my house.
We almost got it. Now, as far as we know, the third cat statue is in the city across the channel. But the drawbridge is closed. Right. Unfortunately, we currently don't know how to reach the other side. But what we have learned, if we want to reach Walo in one piece, we need a special nautical chart to navigate across the shallow water in front of the volcano. We think the map is hidden in the ancient dungeons of the King's Palace. Ancient dungeons? They are hidden under the king's palace, and they are huge. This is the place where our kings are buried. I see. How can I find these ancient dungeons? Go to Pan. He'll give you a key and some information to find the entrance to the king's palace. In the meantime, we will find out how to lower the bridge. Great. See you soon. Here's the key to the section of the city leading to the king's palace. The gate is near the big tower. Be on guard.
Okay. We've been waiting for you. The Avalanche's information service notified us. We've investigated the area in the night and observed the following. It's crawling with enemies. Rats. Gorillas. And the right-hand man of their leader. You mean his bodyguard? Yes, his adjutant. He's guarding the entrance to the sub-level. You mean the ancient dungeon? Right. Ancient dungeon. The ancient dungeon is obstructed by a gate with four seals. To open the gate... You need to find four cat statues and activate them. Be well armed and massacre them all. The avalanche is with you. Exits! Exits all closed now! Now the fun begins, intruder!
Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man. This health potion contains many rare and exotic... This health potion contains many... Buy yourself a new magic container. Trendy, elegant, and a very...
You ignorant little furball. While you're wasting your time here, Shun is across the sea on Wallo building the ultimate weapon. Ha! Not as smart as you thought you were, eh? You see one, but I am many. Many delusional fools ripe for the slave trade. <clears throat> So, you got lucky, punk. But Minister Shun will deal with you in good time, and you'll get a taste of justice, guerrilla style.
Hey, Avalanche told me of your arrival. Because of the unsecure part of the palace ruins, we tamed a wolf. Use the wolf to reach the ancient dungeons. I get to ride a wolf? Cool! You think so, eh? Better be aware of the spiders. They'll try to poison you. Go on. As you can see, our experiment was successful. Your experiment? You were the first one to ever ride the wolf. <laughs> it actually worked. Hey, what do I look like, a lab rat? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, now you can head on over to the ancient chamber, or if you want to ride again, press the button. Good luck. Oh, hey, Kay. The intel service of the Avalanche said you'd be coming by. You see that big gate behind me? That's the way to the burial chamber of the last cat emperor, where we expect to find the nautical chart we're seeking. The complete archaeological task force has already spread out all around the dungeon. But there is some resistance. Eight legs and some bats. And, of course, some of Shun's henchmen. Thanks for the information, Zhu. But you pandas are such motor mouths. Oh, sure. Insulto pandas. This from a cat with a second grade education. But I have more information for you. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend. What have you got? Have you seen those locked doors around the corner? Have you seen what's behind them? A hammer. I think I have one key that fits one of them. I'll give it to you if you bring me back something special, because I never get to bring back anything good from my adventures. Consider it done.
have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Listen up, Ratty. I'm the Pied Piper of Hamlin. I'm the Enchanter of all rodents. A virtual repudiator of rats. What? Why he talk so much? Hey, you. Why you are talking so much trash? You're right, you know. I spend too much time with those blabby pandas. You can't shut them up. Yeah, we know good. Always we bully them, they start yakking. Never stop! Well, that's just swell, boys, because I too want a little less conversation and a little more action!
I'm a long young archaeologist. Can you help me? My boyfriend, Han Tu, is trapped in a cage somewhere in this room, but I cannot find the way through the maze. With your skills, it would be easy, and if you help me, I'll give you something more special.
You made it through the same riddle I did. You must be a great archaeologist. But I met some rats, and then I landed here. But now, what can I say? Thanks a lot. Yeah, buddy. I really got to thank you. You're not just brave, but clever, too. Zhu, I have something very special for you. Wow, what a killer piece. Now everybody will show respect to me because I finally found something of value on my adventures. Yeah, take this key for your trouble. Yeah! This is some strange place. What is its purpose? All these spikes and mysterious reliefs. But I'll figure it out, definitely. I'm sure you will. Hey, don't even think about climbing this crazy tower. You don't want to step on those spikes, no way. I'm sticking right here. Maybe I'll find the door this key fits. Have you seen a door with a big lock? Uh, no. I don't think so.
horrible and vicious cat demon.
Hey, what are you doing here so deep in the ancient dungeons? My friend Liang and I found a quite excellent artifact, but unfortunately we got separated, and I believe they're holding Liang prisoner somewhere. If you free him and bring me back the artifact, I'll give you a useful present.
Wind Liang. Great Cho Lin's ghost. That's great. And you have the statuette too. Fantastic. It's a wonderful item. I'll trade you even for this old key. Maybe you can figure out what locket fits. Good luck.
me. Thanks, good buddy. Here, take this statuette as a token of appreciation for saving my life. Yeah, these spiders are but ugly, but I can't accept this reward. No, no, you take it. Thanks again. <laughs> Hey, Zhang, take a look at what I found. Say, what a nice item. I give you this key I have if you trade me for this statuette. Deal.
Hey, Kay, big trouble in town. Someone infiltrated the king's palace. The only way back to the panda hideout is this way. But you need to ride on a wolf. Gotta break through the barriers the rats built. Oh, yeah? Sounds cool. was one wild ride. Awesome, Kay. If you want to ride again to get more prize money, press this button. Otherwise, head on out. Some more rat notches on my belt. Phew. I'm really glad to see you again. I was so worried because of all of the dangers in the King's Palace and in the ancient dungeons. But I should have known you were up to it. And you found the map! Great! Yeah, it was pretty gross. Those gigantic spiders? Ugh. So you, uh, worry about me not coming back sometimes? Not really. A brave cat warrior scared of a little bitty spider. <laughs> but we also found out something very interesting. Now we know how to lower the drawbridge. And? You have to awaken the ancient ancestors. We don't yet know how to awaken those magic creatures, but I'm sure you'll find a way. That's all? Okay, I'll see what I can do. still in the Forsaken City. 
Please, Ancestor. I need your help. Ah, and did you wake me up? I see you are a warrior of the cats. So what is your concern? I need your help to push one of the buttons to lower the drawbridge across the channel. Ah, like in the old days. Okay, I will help you. Go ahead. We will meet at the drawbridge. Thank you, Almighty Ancestor. Ancient hero of all cats, I need your help. My name is Kay. Ah, I see you are one of my folk. What is your concern? I need your help to, uh, push a button. A very special button. Do you mean the buttons of the drawbridge? Yes, how did you know? In ancient days, it was our purpose to open up the gates and the drawbridge. Yes, I will help you. We will meet at the drawbridge. Go, now.
Yikes! You nearly scare me to death. Nobody come to my house anymore. It's all the rats and gorillas everywhere. Ma'am, this illegal occupation is history. From now on, you'll be able to go wherever you want. You have my word on that. Really? Oh, this would be great accomplishment. Wow, you here? In the abandoned part of the city. Did the avalanche send you to free me? Well, thanks a lot. Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man. Trendy, elegant, and a very rob... Now we can set sail. Come on, Kay. Now we can get to Wallow and really kick some ass. Kick some what? Hey, I think you've been hanging around me too long. Well, Kay, there she is. The Mino. That's what we've been working on all this time. She's something, huh? Wow, she's awesome! Now we're prepared to face our enemies. We have a magnificent ship, a good map, and the will to fight. I couldn't have said it better myself. Everything has been readied, and everybody is on board. Then let's be off. Our fate awaits us. Wallow will erupt soon. Are you scared? Nah. They say they're building some great engine from hell up there. Something too terrible to speak of. Not a problem. We have a good number of pandas with us. We have a chance against them. Sure. I wanted to thank you for everything. It's nothing. You're a warrior now. When I met you, you were just a boy. Maybe I'm still a boy. Tomorrow, tomorrow the sun will rise. I'm a warrior. This great ship, 
The Mino is built by the methods of the way. They say it is unsinkable. <laughs> the crew's morale is so high they're always singing. This is no three-hour cruise. Hope you can swim. This warrior's life is all right. I love waking up in the morning, not knowing where I'm going to go or what adventure awaits me. Yeah, just the other night I was sleeping under a bridge, and now here I am on the grandest ship on the world, having netto mead with you fine people. Thanks for the chat, I'll navigate my best and get you to Wadaw to exterminate those pests. Oh. Yes, yes, perhaps. I'm just a second mate, but I'd sure kiss that K by our second date. A manly sailor, I've got your back, but you'd best be aware of that shifty rat tack. I'm the officer on deck of this most impressive ship, so you better batten down for a splashing good trip. This merry singing crew was a laugh at first, but now I surely fear that my ears will burst. <laughs> Drat! Now they've got me doing it too! First mate I am, and I'm glad this trip's begun. But I'd never want to mess with that big ape, Sean. I am the captain of the ship Mino, and I'll surely lead us all to that island wallow.
nothing more foul than a dead sea snake. Would you like it served up, sir? As a juicy steak. Something's wrong. The Din Chi is disturbed. Yes, it's the cat boy. He's closer now, but no matter. While woe is ready to erupt, when the sacred wabba flows through Dragon Mouth, we, you, will become invincible. We've wasted a lot of valuable time on this, this monstrosity. If it fails, Alchemist, you will answer to Gorilla Justice. How can it fail? Din is on our side. Or have you primates evolved past our primitive belief in the shadow power? Din is all. All is Din. Bring, Bring the, the thousand years, years of Din. Good. We have nothing to fear, man. Shun suspects nothing. Excellent. Tax suspects nothing. Perfect. Oh, swell. We finally get to this huge beach, and nobody knows what the pooching to do next. Holy ancestors, give me a break! Well, it is a huge beach with a lot of beautiful palms, rocks, and sand. I love it here. I thought this was about stopping tack, not a nature walk. Stick to the program, fellas. All right, let's start looking for hints. Don't be standing around like a lychee stump. Move out and check those rocks over there. Agents have reported there's a pathway from here to the harbor. It's the only way to advance towards the volcano.
cool cat to come rescue me. Now, you find the hidden entrances to the volcano yet? I saw some stinking rats under the gorilla's command, blocking them off with very large boulder. You better have a look around, yeah?
take you long enough, cool cat. You claim my way back, or do poor me go to mess with them ugly crabs? Oh, I go now. Hey, best you do the same if you know what good for you. Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man. Trendy, elegant, and a very by yourself, a new magic container. Feline, I'll be out of here, taking very first ship home. So long, my brother.
It is time! That mangy cat and his mob of pandas are almost here. But Wawo's fires flow. He is too late. Set the dial to... A power! A thousand pardons, Master Tack. Don't you mean full power? Full? I created that valve myself. <laughs> the full power setting is my little gift for sun. Banana Brain won't be able to resist it, but we must be long gone when he throws it wide open. Half power it is. Throw the liver! What's wrong? I, I don't know. Something must be blocking the lava. Those vine swingers must have botched the mechanism. I'll have to trace the flow and... No time! Our twitterous tabby is too close. I'll handle him first. What did the avalanche spies find out? We found out that Tack has his throne room in this complex. You have to fight through the harbor and use the elevator to get to the smithy. 
There, near the rat barracks, is Tack's throne room. Cool! Now I'll finally get to show him some cat skills. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. I'm an old man, but you'll see a new, improved hammer. Trendy, elegant, and... Hey! You hear that? You're so jumpy, but so... Hey, Tuck, we'll give you yelling again, huh? Shut up, you rodents! Keep patrolling! We got job to do! Stupid hairball, now you're in for it. You've walked right into our little trap, haven't you? A trap is only as good as its builder. Right, monkey brain? Go on, unsheath your sword. But remember, it'll be the last time you ever do. Be the last time I need to, banana boy. Bring it, I'm ready. Ah! <laughs> 
The avalanche will thank you in perpetuity, young warrior. I'll sally forth out to my brothers and sisters and tell all of your brave deeds. Long live Kay. Now you not only risk your our eggs, but me also. After you left the frog village, boss, they took revenge on us by ambushing us again and abducting some of us to ear. I'd be mighty careful if I were you. It's crawling with gorillas all in this place. Gotta get up there somehow. Yeah! Okay, these rats be completely nuts. They are building some sort of machine, but I'm not sure what it is. I have only noticed that their king is here at the moment. But I'll hop off now. Maybe I can catch up with my friends. Who do we 
have here. Hey, I presume? <laughs> Your wedging goes before you, young warrior. You're supposed to slay gorillas with one hand while making quince meat as my palace guards. Impressive. But I think we both know the wedging must come to an end. Here and now. Come on, Tack. I've heard that lame speech a hundred times before. I don't care what you've got in your ratty little bag of tricks. I won't let you stand in my way. Just do me a favor. Let's really finish it now. Once and for all time. Listen up, punk. I'll pull your wings out and play bagpipes with them. Guards! Yeah! <laughs> Volcano, you'll be ashes before you take ten steps. We'll just see about that, cheese breath.
Gorillas flying around in balloons? What the? Alarm! Off your way! I'm the kitty litter!
Welcome to my shop. Buy yourself a new hot container. Buy yourself a new magic container. This health potion contains trendy, elegant... We got to the beach on Walo, but we didn't manage to open the gate. Well, before you can spit, we were captured by the gorillas, except for one of the avalanche who managed to slip through the gate. Basically, you have to move the chest just right, but be aware of the fire too. Are you the only one who managed to slip through the gate? Yes, it seems so. Even though I'm not the fittest, this time I made it. You the man, Pan. Kay, you see that rock over there? We can't go any further unless that rock is moved. I tried, but couldn't do it. Hmm. What do you think? Avalanche has learned that there has to be a mechanism involved. You best take a look around while I hold down the fort. Protect the cat statue!
Somebody moved rock! Get him!
Su Ling, what are you doing here? Hey, I couldn't progress any further. This seems to be their last line of defense. So we're closing in on Shun, no doubt. Yes, not far from him. If we fail here, our whole fight was for nothing. No sweat. Won't happen. I guarantee it. Look after yourself, Kay. Sure, we'll meet again. After I turn Shun into Chum. Can't be too soon for me. This can't be, it's too small. Sound the alarm, after the intruder.
That's it, milk breath. Don't even think about getting past me. Welcome to my shop. Trendy, elegant, and very robust. This magic potion may taste. Welcome to my. This magic potion may. You. Sean, you piece of dung. So now we meet. You've come a long way, warrior. Yeah! What is your quest? Hmm? To beat me? To annihilate me? You know it. Ha! Don't make me laugh. You don't really believe that I will let you foil my plans. You've done nothing but bring misery to our island. Plan on turning it into a banana republic, monkey man? Silence, Fleabag! I will crush you and your little girlfriend, and after that, your entire worthless people! You'll have to pry the keys to the kingdom out of my cold, lifeless fingers! Yeah! <laughs> 
defeat me. Never! Running away from a fight? The mighty Shun? A gutless wimp? You'll see. Have I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Now, the final step in the process. This will give me immortality. Let it begin. I have to get after him. I got to end this thing here and now. Mr. Shun, I'll save you! Bring it on, you freaking baboons! <laughs> Holy kitty litter! That's the butt ugliest thing I ever saw!
Today, the sun rises. Who's to buy a winter sweet necklace? Who's to make an old man happy? It stands tall above the deepest snow. It defies all and conquers the heart. I could use one of those, old man, if you make a poor fighter's credit good. Poor in pocket, good in battle. Take your needs, this island's in your debt, warrior. But a warrior's skills mean nothing until he... Masters them! Why, you sly fox! Always when I needed you. Who's to make an old man happy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 